The full screen module of Oxy Toolbox lets you toggle the panels in the oxygen editor easily with a single key press. And to expand the code editor panels to full width when the cursor is placed inside the code editor. And to detach the, the main center frame into a separate window so that you can move it um, to a different screen either on the same monitor or on a different monitor if you have more than one. So let's take a look at uh, full screen module in action. And here I am in the Oxy Toolbox settings page. We scroll down and uh, tick full screen and save changes. And you can see that um, the default a hotkey for the full screen um, option is control. You can change this to shift or alt or command. I'm guessing if you are on Windows, you will find shift is something that you would um, want to use. Okay, so let's uh, edit this page with oxygen. Okay, let me just go ahead and add a section. Let's say that has a heading and some text. Okay, so I'm gonna press control and doing so will basically now hide uh, the left panel because that's the only panel that is open at the time, at this time. So I'm hitting control and you can see that now that's gone and we can just focus on the actual content of this page and we can edit this with oxygen. If I want to bring the panels back, I just hit control again and th that brings up the panels. Now this applies to not just the left panel but also any panel that is open on the right side. So let's say I have this structure open like this. I'm gonna hit control to collapse the panels and again control to bring them up. So this is inspired by the keyboard shortcut in Photoshop, which is uh, which works similarly. Okay, let's take a look at the second option. Um, the second feature, which is basically to expand the code editor panels. So, um, Let's say for this particular element, I go to advanced and custom CSS and you know, you can add your custom CSS in here and you can see that this is limited to whatever is the width of this panel right now. But when your cursor is inside this particular code editor, you can press control and that just expands this to fill the entire um, width of the uh, your viewport. Again, you can press control to bring this back to the regular size. And when this is in the expanded state, when you hit this collapse editor button, it is going to basically, you know, behave like how it would normally in oxygen, then it just collapses that particular code panel. Okay. And of course, this not only works here when you are editing CSS, but also if you um, say add a easy posts component. Okay. And you go to templates and template PHP. And usually what happens is that if you have long bit of code, um, there is no word wrapping in this editor. So you need to keep uh, scrolling horizontally like that. So especially in these cases, if you press control, that basically makes this, um, like, you know, full, full width. Again, pressing control will bring this back to the regular size. Okay, so let's take a look at the third option, which is to detach the center frame. So for that, we uh, take this option, detached layout, save the changes and refresh the oxygen editor. 
Now you notice this the first time that you do this, uh, your browser Firefox or Chrome, in this case it is Firefox, so it's going to show this warning saying that uh, you know it, it, there is a pop up that you need to um, open. So click on that preferences and just allow the pop ups. And that opens the center frame in its own um, tab or window. Okay. But the first time you do this, it does not load. So just close that and refresh again. This is just a one time thing. Um, subsequent times you don't have to you know, reload, close and reload. So now you can see that um, we have the, let me open up the structure for example. So we have the outer frame in here and we have, we have the actual the center part of the page in its own tab or window. So we can make changes here. And you can, uh, if you want, move this to a separate window. And you can move this window to the right side of the screen and I can have this window to the left side of the screen um, and uh, clicking on uh, an element in the structure panel will select that here and similarly if you click on an element here it's going to select that here in the structure panel. So both are in sync. Um, hope you found this helpful. Bye for now.